Evening everybody. Welcome to my Wednesday night craft session live tonight. Um, I hope you're all having a lovely week. It's nice to have the bank holiday. Um, we've had a little bit of an extended break here so I'm just slowly getting back into the swing of things. Very grateful for no school though. Um, it's been nice not to have to do school work with the children. Right so tonight I haven't prepared anything I'll be honest with you. Um, it's been one of those days where we've had a lovely time but I've not really had time to get in here and prep. Um, I made these cards last year as part of a press and seal series, I guess. And um, I did a class on them as well. So the idea being we're going to use this press and seal. It's a bit like cling film, but it's tacky one side and it's smooth the other. So we're going to use that to create these cards. Well, not these cards. I'm going to use a different product, but this is the idea is that it leaves everything stuck on there in a pattern all become clear so i am going to use the new forever fern stamp set this is in the annual catalog that comes out next week exciting and it also has some dies that go with it and these are forever flourishing dies hi to everyone who's hopping on thank you so much for joining me so these dies, you have some dies that go round the images. You can't really see that because of my light. No, let me just turn that, that's better. Um, these dies here go round the images and then you have accent dies to add in even more detail. So they're absolutely beautiful. It's a stunning, stunning suite. You'll, you'll love it, I'm sure. Um, I'm going to use this to create our press and seal card. So I have got together some pieces of card so I'm going to use this lovely shaded spruce colour no it's not even shaded spruce I'm lying to you this is pretty peacock that's better so this is pretty peacock which is one of the 2019 to 21 in colours and I'm mirror I'm adding in some knight of navy oh, you can't even see that knight of navy and some soft sea foam so lovely lovely selection of colours and they do mirror the colours that are used in the suite as well. Um, I have here a piece of Whisper White and I have some scraps of Whisper White so we need to start with some scraps of Whisper White and they are quite literally scraps here is my scrap box so I'm just going to pull out a few more pieces we may only get round to doing one card this evening might be a bit of a long one so I find the simplest way to do this is to put all my stamps on the blocks and I'm going to use the smaller ones so this one here is fairly small this one here is and this one here I will use I need a bigger block there okay so those are the three shapes that I'm going to use so we've got this one one of these and this one okay uh, evening Sophie watch one eye you're watching with one eye on me and one eye on call the midwife lovely enjoy call the midwife a fun fact for you that was filmed about five miles from my house um, it was filmed in a place called Chatham Dockyard or some of it was and you can go and visit so you could come over visit the call the midwife set and visit me at the same time wouldn't that be lovely Okay, so just got some scraps here and I'm keeping this quite simple in that I'm using one colour for each image. So let's work out which one we want to use with which. So I've got Soft Sea Foam, Night of Navy and Pretty Peacock. So let's have this one in Pretty Peacock, this one in Soft Sea Foam and the smallest one in Night of Navy. Okay. So I'm just going to stamp a few of each of those. Denise, at last you found me. Oh, a little merry on pims tonight. Very nice. Watching closely. <laughs> okay, you enjoy. Um, I believe, is it your wedding anniversary today, Denise? Um, congratulations. I hope you've had a nice day with your hubby. So I'm just inking this up nicely and just pushing down. So I'm just going to show you the detail on that image. How stunning is that? so pretty i love it so i'm going to stamp a few of these 
on here. So three of those. I think that will probably be enough. 15 years. Wow, congratulations. That's amazing. Definitely deserves a um, night on the pins. Okay, so now I have this small leaf, which we're going in with some Knight of Navy. And I'm really sorry, I'm going to need to die cut all of these. So look, how amazing is that? All that detail on that one little stamp. How cool is that? I think it's wonderful. So we'll just put a few more on here. I'm going to do four of those. And then we want some pretty peacock. Now I'm using the right colour. This is my favourite one, I think. That needs a bit more of an inking. So let's give this a while. That's better. So my ink pad was a bit too juicy, hence why there's not a lot of detail there. So I've just stamped off a few times and then re-inked and it's picked up all that lovely detail just as I want it. So the other great thing about using scraps of cardstock, it means you can put more than one through the big shot at the same time, which is what we're going to now try and do. So now we're going to use the dies to cut these lovely things out. So we want this one here. See, I haven't even used these dies before. They are fresh off the packet. That one. This one. And we need this leaf, which is this one. They are, see, this is the first time I've used this set. Aren't you privileged? Now, we need to bring in our big shot. I'm just going to grab some washi tape. Two seconds. Washi tape, where are you? Here you are. Okay. So let's just move these out of the way to bring our big shot in. Snowflakes in it. That's handy. Okay. So let's pop this in here. Now, what we can do is we can put more than one on at the same time. So these dies, you just pop them, lay them around your image. And all I'm gonna do is secure with a bit of washi tape because I don't want that moving. And then on with one of these. So hopefully we'll only need to do this three times. If I was a good demonstrator and prepared, you wouldn't have had to watch me do this. I would have done all of these earlier. But hey, this is all part of live crafting, isn't it? So then we'll get this one on there as well. Hi, Baz. Thanks for joining us. We are just doing some. I've done my stamping. And now we are doing the cutting out. So I'm just securing my dies with some washi tape because I'm putting three through at once. Okay, that's it. Trick with your washi tape is just don't push down too heavily. Okay. Evening, Jackie. There's lots of people joining this evening. We're very grateful. So we have one. How pretty. Love it. So we want one. Pop our little die out. We have two. Just like so. And we have three. Lovely. Okay, so now we do it again. We're going to keep going until we've cut all of our pieces out. You might want to go and make yourself a cup of tea while I do this. I actually had time to make myself a cup of tea this evening. It's behind me getting cold, I'm sure. So then the last one, just like so. I'm just showing people 
if you want to put things if I'd have stamped this all on one big sheet I would have been having to cut lots of bits out whereas I'm just using scraps and the great thing about that is it now all fits together on my big shot plate okay so then that one has actually moved slightly but we won't worry too much about that number two and then this one like so. I love that I think this one is my favorite actually this one and the berries looking one I'm just gonna chop this off then now I don't know why but for some reason I like working left to right hence why I'm pulling the big shot plate back through it's lovely and peaceful outside tonight and hear my little birds chirping oh, we've done four of these on there oh dear big shot plate bending oh that's a perfect one like that one so I've got one more of those to do nearly there another green and a little berries one. Oh, that's better that's come out really nice actually pleased with that okay so last one oh, let's let's be a rebel and work right to left shall we that's my right last piece lovely okay I can move the big shot out of the way so then now we have these lovely pieces Okay, so what we now need, we now need our piece of white. And this is where I have to remember how to do this. So our piece of white, what we're going to do. So this piece is half a centimetre smaller than our card front. So this piece is 10 centimetres by 14.4. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're now going to lay on our pieces roughly where we want them to be now I'm gonna start in the middle ish and all will become clear about that and I'm just laying them on where I think I want them to be I don't want any of them to overlap and I want to make sure that there is Not really a lot between them. So I'm going to move that up here. And this is quite fiddly, but I promise you it's worth it. Let's move that one over there. And then this one down here. So I could have actually done with one more, but... We'll leave that as it is. This is when I have to stop fiddling with it. Okay, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to cut this down ever so slightly because it's a bit too big. So I'm just going to take a centimetre off of this so we'll have a bit more of a border around it. Okay. Ideally, I just need one more. So let's quickly pop all these back on. Can anyone remember how I had them? It's like a jigsaw. So this is better. They're all overlapping a bit more, which is the look that I wanted to go for. That's better. Happier with that now.
promise you all this faff will be worth it. Now I've got too many, look. No, I haven't. He is going down there like so. Ta-da! Okay, so that is better. Now, what we need, we need a piece of press and seal that is just ever so slightly bigger than our piece of card. Okay, so now what we do is we just lay it over our piece of card. And you want to try and do this so that they don't move like that she says okay so it doesn't matter if they don't overlap I mean, you don't want to push down too firmly you don't want it to stick completely to your images you just want it to stick on the white so all i'm doing is i'm pushing down on the white space okay so now we turn we can use this now we decide what die we're going to use so i'm actually going to use a stitch rectangle stitch frame it and we'll also get two cards out of one piece so do i want that one no let's have a smaller one that one there that's a good one right i'm just going to pop them over there so now we bring our big shot back in dun, dun, dun. we lay our piece of crafting our card on top of there now with these rectangle stitch framelets you don't want to put them through so they are they all go through they go through straight so this bar this edge of the die you want it to be an angle so it puts the pressure on the point rather than across the parallel piece so all i'm doing is i'm popping this on my over the top of my press and seal and then this is the important bit we don't want this to move so we are going to use some washi tape to just secure this in place. So this also means we will get two cards out of this one piece that we've got here. Okay, so I'm just putting a piece there and a piece there. So I've got that there on the diagonal. Don't worry too much about that piece. And then now we run it through the big shot. Okay, and you only want to run it through once if you can get away with it oh dear. yes so that's cut really nicely so now what we do and this is why we use the press and seal we want all those pieces to stay put so you're just going to carefully pop this bit out just be gentle don't brush it because you don't want to tear it okay. I'm just following that edge of the die around So we have that piece there that's got our all of our die cuts still stuck and then we have this beautiful frame so i'm going to take my die out now and again be really careful there we go so this will also leave the stitched can you see the stitching around that let me see if the camera will pick up there it's left the stitch ended there so now we bring our card back in like so and then we're going to peel this white frame off okay. and we want to leave all those pieces stuck so there we are we now have all our pieces on the press and seal so what we do now is we're now going to put dimensionals on these little things and I'm actually going to use the small ones the mini dimensionals so then this elevates what you're going to stick back down just put put a big one on there so actually mix and match them if you can because some of these pieces are bigger than others
you do use quite a lot of dimensionals on this technique because you want every piece to be raised. What do I do with the frame I just removed? I will show you in a moment. Right, so this here now, I am going to, just bear with me a moment, yeah, so I'm going to just cut a piece of card that was this size, so remind me of the size of that again, that was, let me get my trimmer in. This piece here is nine centimeters by thirteen point four. So we'll cut nine centimeters by thirteen point four. Okay. So this piece here is now the same size as this. Oh, I know what I've not done. Silly girl, right. Just going to pop this back on because the most important thing that I didn't do, I can't put that back on because there's no dimensionals on it. Silly me. Right. Don't do this at home. So I'm just going to lay that down really carefully. On there because the most important thing I didn't do is I didn't cut round this here. So I want to cut off these edges so you get the outline of the frame. Okay. So I want to get the look as if those pieces are all in a straight line. I just really hope I can get this back off again. I told you it'd be interesting tonight, didn't I? because I've stuck dimensionals to it. Right, that's better. That was the look I was going for. Oh, girls, it's stressful tonight. So let's see if we can now whip that back off again. Yeah. It's so fiddly. Right. Okay, so now we have our piece. We can now take all of our backs of our dimensionals off. It is fiddly girls, but it is worth it, I promise you. Dun, 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 dun. Is anyone counting the number of dimensionals I've used? One's already off. Lots of mess with this card, isn't there? That one's not got one on. And then you can also see where you've got oh no, where you've got gaps. So there's a gap there and there's a gap down here. Too many, yes I know, too many. Right, so now what we can do is we want to take this 
to our card and we want this so this is the same size as the frame that we have used so actually i can do it another way this is going to get fiddly we take this piece of card and we line it up this is why we cut the edges off and just play with it until you are happy so you want to get that over there on that edge okay so then now what we carefully do we peel off the press and seal dun, 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 dun. and you want to be super careful so this is why we don't push down too firmly on those pressed images because you don't want it to take off any of your lovely stamping. And this is what all the hard work girls was for. So could you do it with images coloured in with blends? Honestly, Baz, I don't know because I've not tried it. Um, I would expect you would just have to leave it to dry before you put your press and seal on. So let's just trim off this edge because it's not letting really, me cut it down. 13.4. That's it. Lovely. And if you're not happy with what you've got, you can just trim a bit off. That's it. To get your edge. So there we have all of our pieces stuck back to our piece of card as a border. Can you see that? So it now looks like they are all floating. So that's what the hard work was for, girls. Now we just pop that on our card like so. And this is where all my hard work hopefully comes together. Dum, 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 dum. So there we have our finished piece. You could have stuck that directly to the card. Um, but I didn't want to do that for some strange reason. Now, the sentiments you get in this stamp set are really sweet. You have, to a friend that makes me smile, love and live, love and laughter forever after. That's a mouthful, isn't it? You can do this, I can do this, and hello. So I'm going to use this lovely, to a friend that makes me smile. And I'm going to stamp that onto my card. I'm going to use Pretty Peacock. Actually, no. So this is where I haven't been prepared. So normally I'd say, now we're going to do this and it would just happen. So I want to stamp this on my Whisper White. Like so. So we use Pretty Peacock for that, which is the same as the colour of the cardstock and some of the pieces we've stamped. So line that up so it's roughly in the middle, pop it out. I'm using a two inch circle punch there for that. And then I can put this in the middle. Do I want it in the middle or do I want it down there? Oh, decisions, girls. I think I'm going to put it there. Oh, yes, I am. I know what I'm going to do. So we want dimensionals. You need to find your roll of press and seal, Kim. I think you do. I think it needs to come out. Let's put that there. And then what we can do is a bit of a treat. This is me going really off the piece. These are the DSPs. So do I want to add something like that? No, I don't. I don't want to do that. No, we're going to leave that. So that is my, that is my finished card. I'm done. Okay, so that is our 
lovely finished press and seal card but we're not finished yet because we have this piece now what should we do with this piece Baz you asked what am I going to do with that frame so I'm going to bring my frame back in okay so when you use the press and seal with the stamp with the stitch it leaves a bit of a a mark okay so now I've got another card base like so and now we're going to use this on this card but I'm going to grab a different piece of cardstock I am going to use this lovely soft sea foam colour so then we're going to measure So there's lots of mess, but you do get quite a lot out of it. So this measures roughly five and a half centimetres by nine centimetres. So I'm going to do six centimetres by nine and a half. So I'm just taking it up by half a centimetre. Like so. And then we'll do a bit more stamping. Any excuse for some stamping. So I'm going to use the Pretty Peacock. And the one that we used for this. So I'm going to just stamp this on my card. Look at how pretty that is on the same colour. So these are the same colours. Don't they just look lovely? Love this stamp. Okay, so there we have a bit of stamping on the background. So I've used the same Pretty Peacock ink on the Pretty Peacock card. So it's a great way of just adding a bit more tone to your cards. So then now we can bring our piece in with this piece. So what we do remember we're going to carefully peel these pieces off like so if you lose the odd piece so that one I'm not going to get a dimensional on this so don't worry too much this one here in this corner I will get a dimensional on evening Rebecca I'm gonna pop that one afterwards so now I'm going to bring in my dimensionals and just pop them all over again. And now I'm going to use some mini ones. It is really handy to have these mini ones. I didn't actually think I would use them, but they're great for things like this because otherwise you're cutting dimensionals out. And it just gets super, super fiddly. More fiddlier than this. Okay, there's one there as well. And now we can. I'm going to pop that one on after. Certain pieces you can pop on after. I'm just taking off all the backs of my dimensionals. Baz, I need to do your little trick of drawing on the backs of my dimensionals so I can see which ones I've peeled off and which ones I haven't. Now this piece, I'm going to stick these back onto our um, piece that they were originally used as a template. Okay, like so, and then carefully just peel this backing, this press and seal away. Here we go. been on there for quite a little while now so I'm making sure I'm being extra careful okay so there is our piece now everything's now stuck back on you don't necessarily need the press and seal for this piece if you just wanted this piece you could just stick them on and then trim round them 
this is more to actually get the piece out of the middle so then now just pop these bits back on that's it and there was another little corner piece so I'm just adding a bit of a dimensional and then this is a over here okay so there we have our finished piece now we can melt this onto there which is our piece of soft sea foam cardstock that we've just colored colored cut out with our trimmer so then we can pop this back on our card use a bit of Tombow for that and then we just need to choose our sentiment so there we have it like that and our sentiment what one shall we use shall we use the same one yeah let's use the same one so another circle going to stamp this in Knight of Navy so then I've used all three colours on my card I'm just going to take off that excess ink there to a friend that makes me smile how lovely so then now this piece is going to go just down there dimensionals here they are so this piece I'm going to put dimensionals here and just along the bottom so there we have our two finished cards tonight with the press and seal technique so I have used the Forever Fern stamp set and dies. Thank you so much for being patient with me while I cut those out. So we have our, this was originally one sheet. This middle piece here has actually come out of there. And then we have the lovely look that everything is floating on that piece of card. I've used a two inch circle punch for the stamp, for the sentiment. And the colours that I've used, I've used Knight of Navy, Soft Sea Foam, and Pretty Peacock. No, that's Shaded Spruce. Pretty Peacock over here. So Pretty Peacock is also the same colour as the card. Um, and I've used a bit of Soft Sea Foam under here. So that's it for me this evening. These products aren't available as of yet. They'll be available on the 3rd of June. Catalogues have gone out, so you should start to get those in the next, well, days, I hope. Um, I do have my virtual catalogue launch on Saturday the 6th. Booking closes for that on Friday so that I can get everything out to you as there will be a make and take. I'll also be doing my buy one get one free sale um, for anyone that is attending. And if you want any more information on that, please do let me know. And I look forward to seeing you all very soon. Have a great week, everyone. Thanks for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. Take care. Bye.